in this example, we're going to be looking at the one-sided limit. Um, the limit as x goes to 0 from the plus side, so from the right-hand side, of the function natural log of parentheses 1 plus the square root of x. Now let's look at this function for just a minute here. We need the 0 plus side, so just the right-hand side limit, because of the square root part of this function. We can't talk about plugging in values slightly less than 0 underneath the square root. Those values aren't um, defined. And so that's why we have to be looking here at only the one-sided limit, the limit from the right. So let's um, continue on with this limit using the same sort of idea that we have for just two-sided limits where we plug in and see what happens first. So it may be a little bit different to think about plugging in a zero plus, but just take a look at what happens. We would have the natural log of one plus the square root of zero plus. So now this is where we've got to start um, interpreting and trying to understand how to do arithmetic with this zero plus here. So keep in mind, 0 plus is an indicator for things slightly bigger than uh, 0. And so if we take the square root of something slightly bigger than 0, we still have something slightly bigger than 0. So what we're really looking at here is the natural log of 1 plus a 0 plus. Well, if we take 1 and we add something slightly bigger to 0, we're talking about something slightly bigger than 1. So we're really looking at trying to figure out the natural log of 1 plus, or in some sense, the limit from the right as we approach 1 of the natural log of x. So let's remind ourselves what the natural log of x function looks like. It has a vertical asymptote at the y-axis, so where x is equal to 0. Um, and uh, it crosses the x-axis at the x value of 1. And so when we are looking at figuring out how to interpret the natural log of 1 plus, we're really telling ourselves for the function natural log of x, if we approach 1 from the right, where is this function uh, going? Well, as we approach 1 from the right, our function here is approaching the y value of 0 because it's approaching that... Um, it's approaching that, uh, that zero of the function y equals natural log of x. And so our value here for the limit is simply zero.